Hello everybody, welcome back here to Canning Farms and in today's video we're up on a very frosty morning and the reason is we're going taking down these ash trees. So there's five or six in total, they're starting to die off and it's along the main road so we have to get it out of the way. So John Doherty's on the way over and Dad's down. Wave, hey, hey, wave. He's down there now, so we're going to cut up some timber now this morning, just waiting on John to get over here. And Three. Okay, and you can open your eyes. And that's it there. So, as you can see, we've got a few signs made up for the yard here. And I'm awful happy with the way they came out. Uh, Monia done these for us, so Monia up the north. As you can see, really good. So, metal sign. So, really good quality. So, I have another one there that I'm going to hang on the road at the gate as you come in. So the next job that we're going to do is replace the mesh on the back of this trailer. Uh, it's starting to come off now and you'll catch your hand on it. Um, so I'll take that off and we'll just weld in some checker plate in the back and that should leave that uh, just nice and safer and you're not going to catch your hand on it. Might have to do a job as well here. When we take this, I think the door is is a little bit bent bent as well so we'll have a look at that and see whether we can straighten it out so you make it a bit easier to open at the bottom and not use a hammer but we'll see if that's possible now in a few minutes god she's everything she looks watch out right so the mesh is just lifting here as you can see there, so she's welded in a few spots and then someone's put in like tech screws along the way, so I'll just cut out them bits that are hanging on. Then we can just buffer it back, uh, try and straighten her up, and then what we'll do then is um, just put a new plate and paint it and make it look a bit better. 
Remember, always wear safety goggles. Safety first, children. Oh, God, I'm getting old. Right. Oh, let's cut this off. Just be handy if I plugged it in. Take two. So next thing we're going to address now is the bend in the door. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take oh, the length and the width of the door. So, and then I'm just going to take the height of the bend. Okay. And I'll just go in here now and I'm going to enter it into my uh, recalibration uh, machine here and what we're going to do is hit enter and see what happens. Enter. And as you can see that door is now straight. Thing I have to measure the panels and actually have to take measurements this time so we're looking at inside there 38 38 by 57 and a half three okay and then we'll off down here. So, next job I'm going to do here now is just weld in this first plate. Each one of the squares is a different size, so I think the best way to do it is just cut and weld and cut and weld and we get it that way so tack it in make sure she's all right and then i'll weld, weld her as best i can just going to use some 2.5 mil ones um, don't need to be super super heavy this is thin enough steel and we'll start into it and get it done So it's the next day here and what I'm done here is I've just cut the section of uh, mesh that was on the trailer on the back but I've just cut it. Uh, it's a bit too heavy with the, with the checker plate to have it up on these top sections too. You just want to leave it that you're able to get the door off as well. So I've switched to what I call the glue gun. So this is a MIG welder or a cheap MIG welder anyway. And what this does is has a flux cord here that you just pull the trigger, pops out, and you have your clamp over here like an arc welder. But the arc welder would just burn through this stuff here. Um, so I just find it a lot handier, especially like that for someone starting off welding or that, you know, it's, I find it a lot better um, for smaller jobs like this. So what this does is, actually adds metal into the well rather than sort of melting two things together so I find it's a lot easier for things like bridging gaps and small delicate jobs like that so I just finished putting in the last few wells here and we'll get this sprayed and finished up. And sure look you've uh, been watching the video now this long, you might as well hit that subscribe button and like because you've wasted too much of your time not to do it now. So you might as well make a count now. 
Uh, hopefully there'll be more projects like this over the year. And uh, yeah, so get this bit cut out, get it welded in, and we'll get it painted and finished. Last thing now that we're gonna do is hide all the sins. So we're just going to give it a shot of glass black, and if Ben will go in out. So I'm just gonna put on a mask here because we're inside, so. Usually if the weather was better, we do it outside, but we give it a coat of this and that. Okay, so that is the back door finished on that. So as you can see here, turned out okay now. So I'm glad I didn't put them actually uh, checker plates up on the top because that would have made it really heavy. Uh, it's just about okay the way it is. So it's better than when it came in anyway. So we'll just leave it at that for today. So I hope you liked it. Trees down, ash die back is ravaging them trees and it's a bit dangerous to have them along the road. So it's good to get them out of the way and this is finished. So your man won't be catching the hands on it anymore so right we'll leave it at that hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and remember subscribe like and we'll see you in the next one